Hi guys and today we have a very special guest Ashka Shah a third year MBBS student from Pramukh Swami Medical College Karamsad Gujarat thanks for joining thank you so much shivam for inviting me it's an honor so today we will have a conversation with Ashka about her life at PMC so let's begin so firstly why did you choose this college over the other colleges uh Pramukh Swami Medical College it was started around 32 35 years back and it is one of the most prestigious uh, colleges in gujarat and a lot of doctors and a, a lot of colleagues recommended it because it is uh, known for its uh, teaching methods uh, the uh, patient load and how here it everything is taught practically rather than theoretically so yeah it was it's basically known for its teaching methods and yeah that's why i chose this college okay so definitely a very good reason moving on to the next question that what was going through your mind before you stepped in as a medical student at pmc for the first time were you excited nervous uh, the first day there were a lot of emotions going in my head i was excited i was nervous I was sad because I had to leave my family but I was happy because I finally got to uh live the college life the hostel life but uh I was very nervous because I didn't know how I would do in a medical college I was afraid about the uh thoughts other people told me that you will have to study for 5 years and there's a lot of studying But I was really excited because uh, medicine is something that has always excited me. I I really loved biology. Uh, didn't really like chemistry or physics, but uh, medicine is something that always excited me. So it was a very a lot of emotional day. Like it was very it was a nice day. It was exciting. It was nervous. I was happy. I was sad. there were a lot of emotions going around in my head at that time okay that sounds really great now tell me how was your first day what did you realize after your first day at pmc okay so on our first day uh, we were really we were just given the introduction about various subjects and we were asked to talk about uh, some of some patients we came across during our life or someone who had uh, diseases or any life threatening accidents in our life if we knew someone who had that but apart from that we had our uh, anatomy that day and we were shown uh, the dead bodies the we call it cadavers so we were shown the cadavers where we we had to perform dissections and it, i can never forget that day because it it was so exciting but at the same time the uh, the thoughts that ran into my head we had to uncover the entire body and there was formalin so there was a lot of smell but we were not allowed to wear any masks and um, we were simply told that you just have to uncover the body and this will be your biggest teacher for your anatomy and i was i was stunned that day because i was not expecting to see a cadaver on my first day of college but it was a really good experience and anatomy was my favorite subject in my first year okay so you have some really good memories now moving on i'll ask specific things about your college firstly how's your campus how's the campus of pmc we have an amazing campus over here it's it's a really huge campus and uh, there's lot of greenery and We, the there is library there is your college and there is your hospital but they are a little far so we need to uh, walk and like some people use buses or uh, the cars or any vehicles but it's a very huge campus and uh, i really love my campus it's amazing okay so the expression says it all tell me about the patient load of the hospital Okay, I I cannot say the exact number, but uh, our college is located in Karamsad, and uh, ar- around here there are many villages. So uh, most of the people come to this college because it's a government hospital, and there aren't any other government hospitals nearby. 
and uh, see we go to uh, clinics every day 8:30 to 11:30 and in our medicine ward we get a minimum of 50 patients during those 3 hours in the morning so i can say there's a huge patient load in our uh, college and even during the uh, second wave and the first wave of covid-19 there were patients coming from other cities because their cities were uh, all the hospital beds were full so we had all the patients transferred over here so yeah i guess the patient load is huge over here okay so tell me about the faculty at your college you already have praised it beginning at the beginning of this video but uh, like could you elaborate about it like how is the faculty at pmc uh the faculty here is uh, really nice they are really helpful we have this uh system called a mentor menti program where uh, like every 2 to 3 students is uh, asked to contact one of our faculty and uh, they talk to us like they are our friends they are our parents and we just have a heart to heart conversation about what difficulties we are facing and how should we study in our first year or second year and the faculty over here they are very friendly and it's good i mean you cannot get every faculty who is friendly with you but uh, in the end everyone is doing something so that uh, you come out as a better doctor in the future okay so that's great to hear but uh, now you are a senior like you are in your third year but when you entered the college what was the atmosphere how were your seniors at first i was really worried that uh, they like you when you enter a college everyone has told you that uh, senior se dur rehna there are seniors and seniors bhagwan hote hai you need to call them sir you need to call them ma'am didi bhaiya whatever whatever is the system in your colleges but uh, seniors are the greatest thing you can have in your college they are your saviors in your college especially medical colleges because they'll tell you uh, certain things which you, which the faculty won't tell you they'll tell you that it's okay to fail they'll tell you that it's okay to not do this chapter and focus on other important topics they'll guide you through your entire journey in the medical college and if you don't have senior friends then go make make seniors your friends because they'll help you get through medical life okay so that was about your seniors tell me about your friends your batchmates how's the competition there is it healthy you get positive vibes like how's it uh we are a batch of 100 students 100 110 students and uh i am like we all are good friends and we all connect to each other with in different different perspectives and yes there is competition amongst the students but i think it's healthy competition if a certain someone uh, passes with uh, 25 marks then there is always that thought in your head that uh, yeah even i can do it even we can do it we study together there are discussion rooms where um, you all study together you all discuss topics then uh, we have our clinical exams where you perform tests on each other so that you don't a fumble on on your exam in your vivas and yeah it's it's good with all of the classmates and there is competition but it's healthy competition there's nothing uh, very dangerous or bad in that way so what advice would you give your juniors who are actually watching this video and will join your college next year uh so i would like to tell that uh, whenever you are Uh, putting up your choices in counseling just weigh down your options what exactly do you want in your college some students select their college based on how far it is from their home but think about it for in a manner where you are this is your investment for your future you cannot choose a college just because it's near to your home you need to see how good the patient load is there how how do they teach there uh, what experience how research processes go on there you need to weigh down all the options and you need to ask a lot of people 
some of your colleagues or so there is sister brothers whoever are in this college some doctors who teach in that particular college you need to research a lot and uh, weighing down the pros and cons about different college you need to make your choices but don't select a college based on ki wahan par fests hote hain or you the attendance is very lenient don't don't choose your college based on such petty issues uh, see it as an investment for your future okay so those were a few words of wisdom from a responsible senior so that's it for now guys hope you loved the video with ashka thank you thank you so much guys for listening me thank you so much